whittled. Forty-seven. I have marked your map with several points of interest. We're running this mission with very little upfront intel, but these locations could provide clues to help you obtain the information we need. Good luck. Your house is so beautiful. I'm really impressed by all the wonderful things you have here. I wish my husband would let me have that much art inside the house. But he gets, well, <laughs> he doesn't appreciate it the same way I do. Well, Richard and I have similar interests, so it's really not that hard to get him to go along with my ideas. Although, I have to say, it's been challenging to find a good place for my old microfilm viewer. Right now, it's just collecting dust in the attic. Microfilm? That's an interesting thing to collect. Well, it's sort of a hobby that never really took off. Besides, I don't have any microfilm to play on the viewer anyway. I'm not sure I could find any either. Hmm. Well, Janus Next Door collects all kinds of ancient memorabilia. He might have a roll or tape or whatever it is that sort of thing uses. I'm sure he'd be delighted to lend you something. That's very good. Back to in the day, Thank Janus you. was known for his obsessive Looking need good. to archive and keep memorabilia. If he has any microfilm in his house, it might contain something interesting. Janice's oddball nurse is at it again. Oh, yeah, the bird guy. I think he comes early, just to chat with the birds. Spend more time with them than he does with Janice. A couple of weeks ago, I walked past him, and I have to tell you, he gets into some pretty personal stuff with those animals. He shared his opinion. So Janus has an opinion on Janus. Let's just say it's not exactly overwhelmingly popular. Well, cranky old men don't tend to be very likable. You know what I like about you guys? You're just so chill. Not like Janus. I have never met a man so full of bile. I mean, I'm just trying to help him, and he's behaving like a complete ass. All right, I better go. You know, it's like... Huh? He's been sitting there most of the day. I don't know what he's reading, but it looks like it's the most interesting thing he's ever come across. The new Cassandra Snow novel, maybe. Slivers of past shimmers, or something like that. See, my wife's reading it now. I can't get her to do anything around the house. No, no, it's not a novel. Burn. Is good. Please Burn. get out of my Is face. No, no, it's not a novel. I think it's a, a journal. Or a, or a diary. He's one of the security people working over at that old Russian guy's house. That's got to be something from the old man's archives. Oh. If that's one of Janus's well, diaries, it, it might contain some important book. information about his past. Our past. 
Or maybe something that can help us locate the constant. Just so many letters. I got a package for Batty as well. Did you know he was engaged in a lawsuit against Janus, that old Russian guy I talked about? No, there's only me here to cover it. I would love it if someone else could help, even if it was only with that package to Batty. He talks and talks, and I just don't have time for that today. All right, I'll call you when I'm over by the bus. Do you need some help? You know what, friend? I could indeed use some help. It's very kind of you to ask. People in this neighborhood are just so friendly. That's what I really love about this place. No problem. What do you need? Well, I'm running awfully late today. Chatty people in this neighborhood, you know? Anyway, I've got this package for James Batty in number 432. Would you be able to deliver it to him? I wouldn't normally just hand over a package like that, but you look very trustworthy. I could do that. House number 432? Yes, big house at the bend in the road. It's undergoing fumigation at the moment. You can't miss it. Just leave it in the mailbox and ring his doorbell, and he'll come get it. He lives in his shed in the backyard, so it might take a few moments for him to show up. Consider it done. Thank you again. Helen gives away muffins, and you're helping deliver packages. What a day! Sir, I will have to check you if you want to pass, okay? Just relax. You'll be on your way in a sec. Good. You're clean and good to go. New guy, huh? The regular guy is indisposed. I'm here to take care of Mr. Janus. All right. Just ring the doorbell. Someone will be with you in a moment. Lafayette. He's not well. Okay. Hopefully it's something serious. I wouldn't mind if Lafayette was replaced permanently. She's an insufferable Somebody bore with a room temperature IQ. With you. You but back. if you're the new guy, you'll need to be on time. I have a busy schedule, you know. Far enough, sir. You have a very Everybody distinct face, well. my friend. Eastern no. European, am I right? But more than that, I have a kind of mix of cultures. You look almost like an artist's rendering of the perfect man. I knew a man once. A doctor. He would have found you quite interesting, I think. Proximity to me. There won't be enough on us to make a square oxygen meter oxygen in order for you and I to continue to survive. Who do you want to put money the on? Sir, for the health check itself. I put money on me. I hate to disappoint you, but hugs are not in the nature of my generation. I know this looks like a relaxed operation, but I run a tight ship. Nobody gets alone time with Janice unless I know them, and I don't know you. So here's what I'll do. I'm going downstairs to run a security check on you. 
It should only be a few minutes. In the meantime, you wait in the study. We'll lock the doors and my men will make sure you don't accidentally wander off. I'm sure you understand. Please, wait in there. Forty-seven, you have to find a way out of there. I can't possibly construct a viable ID for you in time. I'll have Miss Hall remotely interfere with their search, but we can't... can't keep it up for long. Well, that was certainly an interesting turn of events. Still, no rest for the wicked, 47. You could probably slip back in... Can't keep it up for long. Well, that was certainly an interesting turn of events. Still, no rest for the wicked, 47. You could probably slip back inside and give Janus his health check while his bodyguard is busy. Just be mindful of the patrolling guards. I'm back. I suggest we go to the bathroom now. All right. Let's go then. One of Janus's old microfilms. It might contain important information. All you need now is to find a device to read it on. Sir? One of Janus's old microfilms. It might contain important information. All you need now is to find a device to read it on. Nicely done, 47. It's time for Janus to pay for his crimes. You know. <laughs> Finally, an end to Janus. Death feels like an easy way out for a man like him. Still... We are close now, 47. Yeah. 
Yeah, come on, there's some kind of commotion down here. I'm having a look around. Hello? Hmm, one of Janus's many diaries. He's apparently been the chairman of the Ark Society for years. He stepped down very recently but is still attached to the society. Well, 47, this is valuable information. guy is driving me crazy. Every time he sees me, he comes out and wants to talk. And the problem is he just won't shut up. Always ranting about that damn lawsuit against Janus and waving piles of paper at me. As if I give a rat's ass about their problems. Let the judge sort it out. What do I want? A lawsuit want between Janus and a local him, resident. It might be just what we're looking for. Batty lives in number 432. wearing a shoulder bag. It's completely masculine. Yeah, you look in the magazines, yeah. people are wearing so them all the time. I let him use the green shipping. Apparently, the I, I just. Well, I'm gonna keep wearing that damn shoulder bag. It's convenient, instead of his bed.
Janus is apparently engaged in a civil lawsuit with another resident of Whittleton Creek. James Batty, the plaintiff, wants Janus to stop his annual landing of a helicopter near the local creek. Batty claims it interrupts the nesting birds and a species of frog that has been declared endangered. Must be a very important trip given his poor health. of some sort. The note mentions another house. Perhaps Cassidy is using one of the vacant buildings as a base of operations, 47. That's the last piece of the puzzle found, 47. While we didn't end up with the names or locations of the pro Providence partners as we had hoped, this at least gives us a clear bead on the constant. We can expect to find him at the annual gathering of the Ark Society. In November. Should be enough. Excellent. This confirms that Janus and the Constant will meet up soon. I don't think we'll be able to identify the partners today, but this is very useful.
The tape doesn't specify where that meeting will take place, however. We need that final bit, 47. So, we know that Janus is expecting to leave Whittleton Creek via helicopter and that he's going to meet the Constant at some event. I think it's time to look inside Janus's house for more clues. Good work, 47. We now know Janus is meeting with the Constant at an event related to the Ark Society. And we have an approximate date as well. I think that's all we're going to get. We're close to the finish line. It's time to end this. Hey! What are you doing here?
Cassidy looks to be a gun enthusiast. The room looks like it's outfitted with a lot of security and alarms. Looks to be a gun enthusiast. The room looks like it's outfitted with a lot of security and alarms. to be a gun enthusiast. The room looks like it's outfitted with a lot of security and alarms. to be a gun enthusiast. The room looks like it's outfit. Pretty and alarms. Looks to be a gun enthusiast. The room looks like it's outfitted with a lot of security and alarms. That is Nolan Cassidy, former Secret Service agent and current Providence Herald. Cassidy is assigned to protect Janus.
Nicely done, 47. This should keep things nice and quiet inside the house. Is Nolan Cassidy taken care of? Both targets are confirmed killed. All that remains now is to find the information we came for, and then get out of here. All mission objectives are completed. 47, once you've left Whittleton Creek, I will notify Providence of our discovery. In the meantime, we'll go over the clues you found. 